If at any point during this recording you like what you see and you want to be a part of this growing ecosystem and this huge opportunity because again we are pre-launch, go ahead and use my referral link down below guys. Use it. It's going to support me. It's going to allow me to do this 100% of the time. Right now I have a 9 to 5 so I don't have as many videos as you have seen but when I bring something out it's something I truly believe and that is exactly how I feel about Connect United and once you dig into each of these projects and you see who their leadership is and where they came from you also will be a believer and jump on this train with me and we are going to ride it to the moon anyway with that said guys let's go ahead and start taking a look at how to set up these ubuntu nodes so i have logged into my vulture account and you can see a link to this in the description if you don't have one yet or want to use this as your vps provider uh, but basically what we want to do is click on products here on the top left and then over on the right you see this blue icon for a plus sign hit deploy server we need a cloud computer. Okay, I'm going to place this one in Toronto, Canada, just because I feel like it. Uh, I'm going to put it as Ubuntu 18.04 64-bit. Okay, make sure you do that selection. It can be any of these, but that's the one I'm using. Uh, five months, $5 per month. All right, and I'm going to name this one Ubuntu Win 1 going to deploy it and now it's going to be installing okay and the server has just completed and you can see here at the bottom the toronto server is the one i just installed it is now running under status and i need to rename this because i forgot late last night i actually already created two of these so this is going to once you click into it at the top you can change it here all right, and next step, previously, guys, I have misguided you. I've told you to use PuTTY. You don't need to use PuTTY or any kind of virtual instance of Windows on a Mac in order to do this. If you have a Mac, you can just do it here. Even if you have a Windows computer, you should do it from when here. So what you're going to do next is go into the console. So if you look on the website at the top right here, there's this icon. looks like a monitor. That's the console. When you click that, it's going to open up another screen here. This one's already loaded with an app, uh, but I'm going to show you real quick what you need before you go in there. Uh, you're going to need your username, which is always root all the servers any user it's going to be root and then your password I'm not going to show mine uh, guys but you can uh, copy the password here and I would go ahead and do that and then you go into your console right and again you click on here to get into the console so now login username root and then it's going to ask me for the password now I'm going to enter the password but know that the password will not appear as you type it that's normal that's by design just keep typing make sure you don't do any mistakes Hit enter. Once you hit enter, we can now give the command to actually download and install the server. And for that, the guide is in the description, but this is the information we need. So let me tab over here. All right, so the command line will be for the Win server, which is the uh, second one down, Win install, you see it here. So this is what we'll need to type. Static, oops, static, wow, dot connectunited.com softnode slash win install dot sh and and bash win install dot sh hit enter so it saved it but it did not install it all right so let's try it again so when that happens just type the same command to install which is the second one the one after the two ampersands but you don't actually have to include the ampersands this time so just bash oops win install.sh okay so this is now starting hit yes on this do you want to continue hit enter so y then enter and now it's installing and now it's going to take me to the login screen for the node so this is where you actually use the account information you use to uh, create your account with uh, connect so hit enter so i'll cut out me entering my email but this is what i'm going to do now after you enter your email enter your password and now we want to name this node. So this is my Ubuntu Win 3 node. Okay, hit enter again. And now it's installing. Password entered. Installation finished. Hit enter. After you've completed the installation, the next screen is going to be the screen where you can kind of see the progress or status of your nodes. So you can see here at the top, I have five block bots, 15 droids, 
uh, daily progress is 8% and I'm connected. Uh, and you can literally just close out the council and then you can go on about your day, guys. That is how you get your Ubuntu Note set up. I hope that this was informative. I hope that you like this content, guys. And I most, most, most certainly hope that you do join me on this space shuttle to the moon because these projects are really going to have an impact. I think there's going to be huge adoption and we are so, so early. So again, do your own research. This is not financial advice, but definitely, definitely look into this and take it into consideration. With that said, I hope you like the content. See you guys in the next video. Peace. I love you. Bye.